Hello, I'm Jeff Patterson. This is Daniel Tran. Today we are looking at some of the level one curriculum from our striking program here at the Academy. We're going to look at just some of the basic techniques and talk about some of the ways that you can apply it. So the first thing to look at, and one of the most important things, is the basic Muay Thai stance. In the stance, in our, in our traditional striking stance, we're a little bit longer footwork, so we have a little more um, power in our strikes. But in the kick stance, it's a little bit shorter. I'm standing taller, which gives me more opportunity to get that back leg in closer. If I'm stretched out like this, he can see that back leg coming from a mile away. But in here, it's a little bit faster. Also, because, come here please, because when we're in kicking range, we're a little bit distance from each other. So I don't need to have quite as stable of a stance because he's not bumping me around, moving me left and side, left and right as much. So from that kick stance rhythm, when you're, when you're in the position, we can do where you're just kind of lightly transferring your weight from the ball of one foot to the ball of the other foot. And you've got that nice one, two rhythm. However, we don't want to do it where our head is going like this. Okay, because if somebody times that, they're going to be hitting on the forward motion. So you can do that one, two rhythm without moving the head. Now, sometimes we might want to move the head forward, but not in any consistent rhythm when we're doing that. Now, the basics on the stance, the feet are hip width distance apart. I'm working that one, two rhythm. A lot of times when I see people do Muay Thai, I see them get their elbows way up like this. We do want to have our guard higher than in like a Western boxing stance, but we don't want to leave the body so open for the kick and the, and the body shot. So it's kind of like you have a towel, you wrap it around your neck and you just kind of let it hang there and then tuck your chin. And now I've got my hands up nice and high. I'm working that one, two rhythm, elbows in, and on that one, two rhythm, you can think about having like a soft egg shaped circle with the hands. So they're circling back this way. Okay, can you, can you play it a little bit and show them what I'm talking about? Just kind of work the rhythm. So to the front. And then kind of change, play, play with change in the rhythm a little bit too. So it's good to have a basic one, two, one, two rhythm, but sometimes you might break it up in half beats and quarter beats and then come back into that one, two rhythm. So you've still got that basic one, two baseline all the time to kind of build up that momentum, but to throw off your opponent, you might throw in some of those quarter beat, half beats and that kind of thing. Okay, so this is the basic stance. Now we're gonna look at uh, a couple basic footwork ideas out of the stance. And remember, this is just our, for, for the level one beginners, so this is a real simplified footwork exercise. So on this one, when we're doing the stance and we're doing this transition, I want to think about my triangle or my strong point of my stance going through his center line. So I'm pointing my front foot to his, the center line of his body, which is going to give me that power driving through him. Now, of course, if I was going to kick, I'd zone off to the side so my kick's going through the center line. I don't want to leave my foot here and then kick over here and have no power. But when I'm in this position here, we're going to work what we call uh, a, um, 